Welcome to another video. Walking the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool Town Centre. I'm in the Pride Village at the moment. It's a Sunday evening. And just earlier we had the England football game where they... My goodness. Did you watch that game? You know what? I'm not really bothered about football anymore. And I know why. Because, honestly, there's no point in getting worked up about it. It was absolutely awful. And somehow we managed to get through. Anyway, that was a few hours ago now. So what I thought I'd do is we'd take a look around the town centre and we'll see what it's like on a Sunday. Is it going to be a bit busier than normal? I don't normally come out on a Sunday night. So what's it like in Blackpool Town Centre on a Sunday night after the football? So will they be celebrating in Blackpool tonight after England just about managed to scrape through against, uh, who was it, Transyl Slovakia. So this is uh, Dixon Road, the Pride Village. Got loads of hotels over there. I think that those are gay-run hotels. So they look quite nice, actually, don't they? Yeah, just over here we've got some of the, the bars. Got Man Bar there. And of course we've got funny girls just up here. Funny girls been going for what 30 years? Yeah, it wasn't always there of course. It used to be you know where walkabout is on Queen Street? That's where funny girls started. Where walkabout was. But uh, yeah, let's take a little walk through the town and see if we can see anything interesting, shall we? Wonder if we bump into any beer monsters. Outside Mark Kelly's, we'll find out, shall we? <laughs> you know, this road here, Dixon Road, it's always been one of them roads where you get all sorts of people. And I remember reading in the, the Gazette years, it's going back years, decades, back to the 90s. Whenever there was any like trouble or anyone got into trouble and they said where they lived, <laughs> they were nearly all always from this road here it's unbelievable yeah let's uh, just turn you around and uh, we'll have a little look at funny girls we used to be the Odeon cinema of course there you go highly recommend it funny girls if you come to Blackpool just behind us we've got pinkies we've got something for everyone here in Blackpool to see ball taste Yes. This is Queen Street. Uh, so just down there is where Walkabout is, right down there. We might even get to the promenade and see the sunset, what do you reckon? Hey, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Let's have a little look at the, uh, the tram stop and the, the Holiday Inn over there. Of course it's not finished off yet, is it? They've got a bit of work to do. Got a couple of trams in there actually, at the moment. What are they going to do with this space here? Can anyone tell me? Is it all gonna be a car park or are they actually gonna build something in here? Does anyone know? I don't know, but I know something. You see these buildings here? I think the council wanna knock them down and build something there, where, where that chip is as well, there you What do you reckon? Am I right, let's head over here, shall we park in beer? Oh, you want to see the spirits they've got in here? Look at this. Wow. What the hell? Got some stuff in there. Me, sorry, sorry, pal. Yo, yo. <laughs> got a shout of someone there. Oh. Hello, beer monsters. I'll carry on. Get a bit of activity around here. I can hear some banging music coming from Mark Kelly's. Just gone past a whole lot of beer monsters there. Fairly lively. That's Garland's. Quite lively in there. Heading down Talbot Road now. 
Well, we're looking for a Sunday night. It is pretty quiet, really, on the whole, but I think there'll be a good mood tonight after with England winning. Some more beer monsters up here now. Look at this. There's loads of them. They're out in force tonight. I won't get too close to them. Oh, look at that. They're living in that doorway over there, aren't they? Banging in the Victoria. A little bit chilly tonight as well, I have to say. Yeah. A little bit chilly. Now, I've made it to Abingdon Street now. Down there, bathed in sunlight, late evening sunlight, is the Winter Gardens. Look at that. Wow. And this shop on the corner, it's just recently opened a new coffee shop. Check it out. They had the, uh, the president of Northern Cyprus here the other day. Yeah, to, to open it, yeah, to help open it. Yeah, you want to see Seaside Collins video, yeah? Because he went in there, looks really smart, actually. So if you come into Blackpool and you want to go to a coffee shop, check out this place here, look at it. A bit noisy. A little bit rowdy there outside the Big Cat Sports Bar. I'm going to head, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's head this way. Well, there's a few people beard up tonight. Just walking past the station. Got a nice pub, the station, actually. Look. Quite a nice building. It's not like a really, really old building or anything, but it's quite nice. Got a nice frontage to it as well. Got the England flag there, as you can see. Just over here we've got the galley, live music. It's around about what half past nine as I'm speaking to you right now. now that's the job centre there which has been empty for how long? There, there, there was a church here, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a church. And there's supposed to be a plaque somewhere that uh, marks the site of the old church but I don't know where the plaque is unless they, they uh, put it somewhere else I don't know but yeah it's been empty for a while it's supposed to be turning into a hotel but they're always coming up with promises aren't they it's always seemed to take a long time to uh, for these things to happen but check this out, out over here now I have actually in the past caught squatters going in that building over there on the corner I've actually caught them inside and check it out. They were trying to get in the other night and they've had to reboard it. Look at this here, look. Look at the state of that. They've had to put new boards on it. Someone's left the duvet, look. Oh, it's a mess, isn't it, around here? Yeah, what a mess. I mean, I have mentioned it quite a few times, but I don't think I can mention it too many times really can I? Look at it, just opposite the Central Public Library, one of the grandest buildings in Blackpool. It's such a shame isn't it that it's uh, it's got that over the road. Yeah. I wonder when this will be sorted, who knows. Anyway, let's head down here shall we? Look at that there, they've had to board all them there. Even this one here, this one has had a bit of work done to it as well, the Continental. It looks like someone had started to do work on it. And then, and uh, I don't know, nothing happened. We're coming down Queen Street now. Oh, look at that sunlight. Oh, it looks epic. Sherlock's, music coming from Sherlock's pretty quiet down here compared to what it can be I wondered if bar 19 was open it is open god I can't hear anything from bar 19 what the hell oh look at this now well 
it might be pretty quiet but I'll tell you what there's one thing you can always rely on in Blackpool and that's that view out there over the Irish Sea and tonight we've got a pretty epic looking sunset let's have a look down shall we there's the Soul Suite there Soul Suite's always popular so this is Queen Square yeah Queen Square it's actually quite fancy but it does get a little bit of abuse as you can see we've got a, a bit of a, a mosaic going on here we've got a nice bench which goes around and a like a crescent would you say oh look at that can you see that over there oh it looks amazing the sun is just starting to get very very close to the horizon as we walk past the soul sweep up there can you see this old sign up there to north station with a with a finger pointing towards north station yeah so this is how it looks in blackpool on a sunday evening i can hear music is that from bees knees there's a new place just up there called bees knees check it out it's just up from the soul suite might be worth checking out it's new so oh the light is amazing just look at this golden light whoa i'm gonna head across the road just check out that golden light on my face isn't it absolutely amazing when the sun gets so low down and it has to come through that really thick atmosphere you get this really nice golden light we're probably about let's see 15 minutes at the most away from sunset so i'll try and bring you that if i can it looks clear over there it looks like the sun's going to drop onto the horizon i can see so clearly over there it's amazing so uh yeah what i'll do is uh, we'll try and capture that shall we i'm going to head this way as we watch the tram turning into talbot road and heading towards north station have you been on the tram to north station yet let me know and what do you think to the timetable because i think myself i think uh i don't know i think they need to tweak it a bit really it's a little bit uh you know one tram for north station then the next one for fleetwood if you're going from i mean i don't know we'll have to see won't we but that's the way it is at the moment let's see if they got on at the north pier east 70 what the real east 70 not a cover band cinderella chubby brown come on have we got any chubby brown fans nearly elton john the legendary stan boardman yeah he's still going stan boardman there you go that's what's on at the north pier check it out it's my favorite pier in blackpool it was the earliest one to be built 1963 was when the north but look at that come on you can't beat it wouldn't you just love to be here in blackpool right now just look at that whoa the tide is going out and it's leaving these look at that down there that looks absolutely amazing yeah so it is pretty quiet overall but uh I can hear people over at shenanigans seem to be in pretty good spirits so I wonder if they've shown the England game over there it's an Irish bar isn't it so would they have been showing it over there um yeah probably yeah yeah so yeah everybody seems to be in pretty good spirits but I'll tell you what though there's plenty of beer monsters out tonight isn't there yeah plenty of them to dodge in the town centre just listen to that that is shocking isn't it Oh my goodness well let's have a look at the tower shall we look at that there you can see the light on the tower there's a bit of a breeze tonight I've had to put my jacket on because it's not that warm yeah it is a little bit breezy off the Irish Sea but that light is amazing look at the light on the wedding chapel as well look at that like a big chunk of gold isn't it Just look at that there i've hidden the sun behind the joe longthorne theater that looks absolutely epic i'm bringing a bit of blackpool to you 
just in case you don't get a chance to let me know if you're thinking of coming to Blackpool over the the season but this is how it looks on a Sunday the last day of June it's not that warm though so there you go that was a little bit of Blackpool for you on a Sunday evening after the football did you watch the football game were you bothered about the football game because I know I wasn't I kind of went off football probably started to go off about 10 years ago and just slowly just ended up not being all that interested in it but uh, I tell you what uh, the sun is just almost about to touch the horizon I think I'm going to end it there now folks I hope you like the video I'll finish off by showing you the sun touching the horizon close to the north pit it looks absolutely epic you've got to get yourself up to Blackpool this season anyway hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one